Are you satisfied with the image you just have? Uh, uh, well, the image is one thing, and a human being is another, you know. I said, you're going to die. I said, you cannot keep like you're going. You're going to die. He said, I'll be there when they lower your big ass into the ground. And I said, no, you won't. 6 a.m., August 16th, 1977. Elvis was restless. He told Ginger he was going to read in the bathroom. 2 p.m., August 16th, 1977. Ginger went into the bathroom to check if Elvis was okay. 2 o'clock, the phone rings, intercom, and one maid picks up the phone, and it's Ginger. She says, come upstairs, I need help. I was fainted. So I ran upstairs. I go into the bathroom, and uh, Elvis had fell over. He was laying in, on the floor. It was pandemonium. The ambulance finally showed up. Uh, all the way to the hospital, uh, trying, we're talking to him, and uh, we get to the hospital real quick. The Baptist Hospital. Got there and they rushed him into the emergency room. You know, still in a state of shock, even when you think about it. We never thought this could ever happen. Like a train stopping. It went to a screeching halt. The drugs were in control. Well, what happened to the good old days when you didn't need it? And you, he said, there are no more good old days. I never thought he was going to live. You know, I kept saying, I said, guys, this guy is not going to make it. You know, I used to tell Colonel, and I'd tell, you know, I'd tell Billy, remember we used to go down, I said, that guy ain't going to make it. I said, you remember? I said, there's no way a person can put himself through what he's putting himself through and make it. These were prescription drugs. Now, the doctor's writing them for him. He's abusing them, but they're not illegal drugs in his mind. He was a victim. No question about it. Get him out of there. He wasn't enjoying it. He wasn't enjoying it. We could not stop it. I think to the day I die that that'll be one of my burdens. And, you know, we tried and we tried, but we couldn't. He, he was his own worst enemy. At just 42, the king of rock and roll was dead.